All right, Libra. Let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, what do we got for Libra, please? What do we got for Libra? What do we got for Libra, please? Prince of Wands at the foundation. Okay, let's keep going. King of Swords at the Sacral. So we got fire energy and air energy on the table. Hangman at the solar plexus. Libra, I feel like you're finally seeing this person for who they truly are. It's taken a while to do this. But now, like, I feel like as soon as it happened, though, it's almost like the illumination's been happening for a while. Like, the universe has been illuminating who this person is to you for a while but it's all of a sudden you just wake up one day and you're like oh wow oh my god it's like a, it's like you've it's like you guys have been under some sort of like weird haze or illusion right some sort of a spell two of wands at the heart i feel like the universe has just been like really really trying to bring this illumination through to you like it's just been like waiting like libra wake up when are you gonna wake up from this libra we gotta go we gotta transform death card scorpio transformation so this is eighth house right so the eighth house is all about transformation scorpio is about transformation stripping of egoic patterns right stripping of like principalities or different mindsets or things that don't suit you anymore right see a lot of people refuse to do this or they just can't you know for whatever reason it's like they're trapped but then when it's compounded with possibly some sort of like spell work or like binding spells or just different things that people do to you to make you stay trapped in that energy it makes it really hard to move ten of swords at the third eye so this is transforming and ending this cycle so this is what's been in the energy for you guys. Let's see now where you guys are showing up with this. Because I feel like this is just showing me like a little storyline of what's been going on for some of you guys, right? Five of swords at the crown. Yeah, I mean, five of swords. So this is all about like violence, abusive relationships. It's a horrible energy. It's like you guys have been trapped in that. Like it's uh, like that's how just life is. You know, oh, I'm just going to stay in this. This is how life is. This could be who you're dealing with, Libra, or this could be you guys, whatever it is. There's an energy here of some of you guys being trapped in these abusive relationships and like promoting this. Like this is okay. This is the way to live. Like this is, you know, this is how my kids are going to live too. Ugh, it's just gross. Ten of Wands at the foundation. You guys see this now. This could be generational karma. It probably is. I'd, I'd say that it's probably 100% generational karma that you guys are dealing with now. It's like you guys are seeing these learnt behaviors that have been passed down through your family, how they do not suit you or anybody around you moving forward any longer. It's not that they ever did, but maybe those just not the right person to stand up to this energy. And now here you come. And here comes 2022 around the corner and everything's going to change, right? Or any, everything's already started to change. But it's like we're living in this modern day society now where it's just like this is just not going to, this is not going to uh, fly anymore. Three of swords, right? And then this energy, this opposing energy, this bully energy, this abusive energy is heartbroken. Oh, I'm so heartbroken. I cannot beat on anybody anymore. But why? I just saw like an old man, like this, an old man, like, you know, in his heyday, he was just real abusive and stuff and really mean and just beat on people. And now he's some little old man, decrepit in the corner, quite possibly homeless or about to be homeless, right? It's all his karma catching up to him. This is what happens to narcissists. They get all their karma towards the end of their life, right? Like the universe really wallops them with it, right? Because they're helpless. They got nothing... See, like in your old age, you want to be comfortable, you want to be, 
you know, uh, living a nice abundant lifestyle and just enjoying your your life and, and helping those younger than you. This energy doesn't understand that at all. So this energy wanted to have all the riches and have all the abundance that life has to offer, right? But it wanted to treat people like absolute garbage. Okay, well that's what you're going to get now towards the end of your life, right? It's this energy. Just saw the Eight of Cups. So yeah, this is like you guys like moving into like new territories of just like different ways of doing things, new ways. It's like a whole new way. It's like looking at your family, looking at your generational line, where you guys have gotten to, like the different um, sectors of your family. Like, you know, say you have cousins and stuff, like seeing where they're at, seeing where you're at. Um, just really getting comparisons and trying to, but comparing in, in uh, a good way, right? Like just really making sure that everything is up to speed and how it should be right and you're just realizing that there's just so much so much more that can be had here and so there's like a 10 of cups wow now i would go as far as saying that 10 of cups could really be a card that could be used for so much more could be had here like i just said right and so this, energetically speaking, puts you on that path. So it's like you see where things can be improved upon, and the universe is like, okay, cool, you saw it. Now we can bring through this loving abundance for you. They just needed you to see it, because once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's programmed into you, and the change will start to happen. Sometimes it's incremental. We're getting a little deep there, Libra. Hope you guys followed with that. King of Cups at the heart so this is the energy i feel like you guys are trying to step into now where it's like you're looking at things that have come to pass right good and bad and you're really just standing strong and all that not trying to hide anything right because how are we going to gain any wisdom or lessons if everybody's trying to hide all the bad things that have happened in the past just Just accept it. Just accept it and move forward and create lessons, create wisdom based around those things that may have happened in the past that were unfortunate. High Priestess at the throat. This is a real, there's a real need here to let your intuition guide you 100%. Uh, I mean, I would say this is for everybody. You know, everybody needs to do that. But you also do need to do work to clear out these toxic energies in your life so they don't create an influence and make it seem like you're actually using your intuition, right? When in fact, you may be using your subconscious mind and some of the fears that you have trapped in there based around these energies that were or may still be in your energetic field. So you just got to make sure that you're really nurturing this intuition. Exercise it, right? Talk to God, right? Meditate. Take time out for yourself and really communicate with the divine. That's how you clear that intuition up. Nine of Wands. Underneath that Ten of Swords at the third eye. See, this really, uh, to me, is perfect, this Ten of Swords and this Nine of Wands here, because this is at this third eye position. So whenever I get these kind of cards here at this third eye, it's like there's an energy that has been trying to really color the way you see things, right, through your faith. It's like it wants to control your faith. It wants to tell you what faith is, right? But it's like moving forward, you're like, you know what? I see what you're trying to do here, but I've, this ain't my first rodeo, nine of wands. This ain't my first rodeo, right? So I see the lesson now that the universe is, is wanting me to learn, has been trying to teach me, and it's all about my intuition, the way I discern, the boundaries I make, five of cups at the crown. See, and it's like this whole energy just wants to keep you trapped in it. Like, uh, 
what? I'm supposed to be trapped in feeling abandoned and unloved? It's that's the energy that wants to flourish, Libra. It wants to flourish. It's a demon. It's like a demon that has come in and infected your family line, your generational line, and it wants to just keep vampirizing off of everybody. Well, no. No. I see you, demon. Libra sees you. And that's enough of that. Okay, Libra. I think that does it. If you guys would like a personal, all that information will be in the description below. Please like and subscribe. Guys, thank you very much for your donations, and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.